Yeah, I shaved. What's your excuse? That's a bad intro, man. Y'all gotta strike that from the tape. How's it going, guys? It is M Madness W with a T twist. Yes, I can spell. Now, I need you guys to go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Like, do it. Like, do it right now. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Share with your friends right now. I'm going to give you some time to do it. You can pause the video if you want. Do it right now. Please. Because I have like 931 people that watch these videos. 931 people that like watch all my videos on YouTube. And none of them are subscribed. 931 different people. And none of them are subscribed. The people that do come back and watch my videos. You guys are the real MVPs. Not like these other people that aren't subscribing. If you're not subscribing to the channel, what are you doing? Please subscribe to the channel. Do it. You know what? Where is it? Do it. Do it. You know what? Do it or I eat a peppermint. Okay, do it. Right now. Do it. I'm going to wait. I got all the time in the world. Do it right now. See? See? You're not going to be able to watch the video until you subscribe. You're not going to be able to do it. Okay, so now we got to go on to our uh, games that we got to talk about. Thursday, November 21st. Right now, we got to start off with a good one. There was only two games that happened. Milwaukee Bucks took on the Portland Trail Blazers. And, uh, yeah, the Bucks win this game, 137 to 129. We'll go over the matchup really quick because that, that was really interesting. Now, Portland, we're going to go over the starting lineup and then uh, winner off the bench. So, C.J. McCollum led the way for them. For the starters with 37 points, 6 rebounds, 10 assists, and 3 blocks. Uh, the next one was Carmelo Anthony. 18 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists. It was then after that the point guard Gary Trent Jr. with 13 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. Then Rodney Hood had 11 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, and 0 blocks. And he was absolutely perfect. He was 100% from the field, 100% from 3 Absolutely perfect. Anthony Tolliver then was last for the starters with 8 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, and 1 block. Now, off the bench, the main scorer was Skull LeBissier with 22 points, 12 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, and 5 blocks. The only other um, important person off the bench was Nasir Little who had 12 points, 1 rebound, and that's pretty much it. Fernie Simmons, you could also say 6 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal. And Kent Bazemore with 2 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, and 1 steal. Mario Hazonia played 9 minutes and did absolutely nothing but grab 1 rebound. Yep. Now for Milwaukee, in terms of how they played, Giannis Antetokounmpo, of course, who was second on this team, had 24 points, 19 rebounds, and 15 assists, 3 steals, and 1 block. Almost had a 20-20-20 game. That's incredible. Eric Bledsoe, however, led the way for the Bucks with 30 points, 4 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal. Next was Dante DiVincenzo with 16 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 steal. Wesley Matthews with 12 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. And then Brooke Lopez, who had 10 points, 3 assists, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. Off the bench, Pat Connaughton led the way with 18 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists. Now, most notably, Sterling Brown also had 8 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist. Uh, George Hill, 7 points. He had 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal. Ursan Ilyasova, 
six points, six rebounds. And then Robin Lopez, six points, six rebounds. Oh, uh, yeah. That was a pretty interesting game. Now, the Portland Trailblazers, ne Trailblazers never led this game. They let the Bucks go up by 16 points two different times in the second quarter. But the Bucks still won the game by eight. What happened, you may say? Well, the Bucks went up 37 to 27 during the first quarter. They won the second quarter 35 to 31, but the Portland Trailblazers won the third quarter 40 to 35. And then they won the fourth quarter 31 to 30. Still can't. Can't do that against the Bucks. They still lost, so. Ivor, man. Um, that's pretty much the Bucks game. And now the only other game we got to talk about is the Pelicans taking on the Phoenix Suns. What happened in this game? Because the Suns were supposed to win, but they lost. Pelicans win 124-121. to 121. The box score here. New Orleans, J.J. Redick was second, actually, for them because Brandon Ingram had 28 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal, 2 blocks. J.J. Redick, 26 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 1 steal. Drew Holiday, 23 points, 4 rebounds, 9 assists, 3 steals, 1 block. Jackson Hayes had 7 points for the starters, 4 rebounds, 1 steal, 1 block. And then Ken, Kenrick Williams, I think that's how you say his name, 2 points, 9 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 2 blocks. Now, off the bench, there's only 5 other players that played. Etwan Moore, 19 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. Uh, Nic Niccolo Melli with 9 points, 4 Five rebounds, three assists, one steal. Lonzo Ball actually came off the bench. Eight points, one rebound, five assists. <laughs> Lonzo Ball's coming off the bench. <laughs> Next, Frank Jackson, who had two points, and they were only free throws. Three rebounds, one assist. He was 0 for 4 from the field. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker only played one minute and did practically nothing. One minute and did practically nothing. Now, um, Phoenix, Phoenix Suns, they had 11 people, well, actually 10 people dressed in play. For the starters, uh, Kelly Oubre Jr. led the way. 25 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Devin Booker was next with 19 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists with 6 turnovers. Frank Kaminsky, 14 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. Uh, Tyler Johnson had 6 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steal, 2 blocks. And Dario Sarge had 5 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal. Off the bench, Cameron Johnson led the way. 14 points, 2 steals. Mikhail Bridges, tw Mikhail Bridges. Michael? No. Mikhail Bridges. 12 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals. Eli Okobo. Was next with 11 points, 7 assists, and 1 steal. Chick Diallo had 8 points, 3 rebounds, 1 steal, and 1 block. And then Javon Carter with 7 points, 3 rebounds, 1 steal. DeAndre Aiden is somehow on the scorecard, but he didn't play, obviously. Now, matchup-wise, the Suns were actually up by 7 points going into the second half. They came back from the Pelicans' largest lead, which was 12 points. They blew that and let the Pelicans then, in the fourth quarter, go up by 8 points, it looks like. Like, no, 9 points. 9 points. Wow, two different times. This is incredible. Um, uh, the Pelicans led the first quarter 38-33, to and then they let the Suns have a 33-21 to second quarter. And then the Pelicans had a 36 to 28 third quarter, and then they had a 29 to 27 fourth quarter. So that's why they primarily won. But um, wow, that's just that's just bad. And Ingram, of course, had 15 of his 28 points in the fourth quarter, which is just incredible. Just, just incredible. So that's going to do it for these NBA recaps. Day 31 is already done, and we're moving on to day 32. Um, day 32 has 10 games, so we're going to roll through that. And plus, I was since I was working last night, and I'm sorry about what what's happening with, this, with these videos. Some days, like this past Thursday and yesterday, Friday, I've been completely swamped. 
Uh, I'll explain. So I had school from about 9.30 to 4.50 on Thursday. I got I get home. I only have like an hour before I have to go to school. I mean, sorry, not go to school. What am I saying? Before I have to go to work. And that's not even taken in the fact that I have to call I have to call off Saturday, the day that I'm recording these videos. Um and so I only had like an hour when I was actually at home. I mean, you could count the morning as being an hour and a half, but after I woke up, but still, that's nothing. And then yesterday was even worse, considering the fact that I was at school from 9 o'clock until 5.15. I get home around 5.25. I only have 20 minutes to get ready for work. I, I think I ate dinner in like three minutes. That wasn't, help, that wasn't good because it was chicken soup. <laughs> it was chicken soup, but it was really good. Um, and yeah, I didn't have enough time to practically get ready. Um, I don't know, I got to work and I was like, okay, I'm just going to just work as hard as I can. That's exactly what I did. And I got home. I was so tired. I was like, I need to go to bed. And I just woke up today around like 9 o'clock. <laughs> I was so tired. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. I'm looking at you. Do it now. Subscribe to the channel and like this video right now. Do it right now. Seriously, please. But I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as I can. I mean, two hundred is the goal right now. But I want to get to a thousand, please. Please. So yeah, we'll see you guys on uh, day thirty-two recaps and then the prediction video for like so far with the season. Uh, so yeah, have a great day.